such a sweet moment. Hello, I'm Dr. Sam, this is Dr. Sam's Health, and today I'm gonna make one of these fun videos when I just talk about cool devices, gadgets, and as you can see I've got a box here, a box from Apple, that has one cool laptop that I've been waiting for for a couple of months, I think, just over a month. This is a new MacBook Pro with M1 Max processor, I'm gonna get into details in a second, prior to that I'll do my Regular disclaimers. First, I don't give any kind of medical advice over YouTube or on my website, drsamshealth.com. I am a practicing physician, but all I talk about here is just my uh, well-intended opinions. They do not necessarily represent the opinions of my colleges, universities, my regulatory bodies in general, my discipline, psychiatry. And also, I'm gonna review an Apple device MacBook Pro, but it's not sponsored video, it's just me buying a new laptop and trying to make use of it. So, likely have seen a couple of videos of me trying to unbox and trial different devices, specifically several laptops, Hewlett Packard, uh, Spectre, a couple of them, Dragonfly, one laptop by MSI, Yoga Titanium Edition, had quite a few of them. And uh, you can likely guess that I've been on a, on a mission to find a wonderful laptop that would be just perfect for me, something that would be an everyday driver. And unfortunately, it was actually quite problematic thing to find. Uh, I was looking for a laptop that would be like two-in-one convertibles, and many of them turned out to be either... Uh, they, most of them were very expensive, they had pretty low performance uh, characteristics, if you look at them, relatively small uh, hard drive size. The uh, one that I used for 2-3 years was Hewlett Packard Spectre, it was one terabyte of hard drive, which was not enough for making videos, it was actually quite slow. And most importantly, it was a little bit slow here and there and noisy and overheating like all three versions that i had were overheating and likely you have seen my video i was talking about that. now i decided to try macbook for several reasons first of all i want to get some something new something different from pc though all my work is pretty much pc based and definitely a PC user for the last like 35 years or so actually uh, since the first uh, IBM PC 286 that I used in way way uh, long time ago so I wanted to try Final Cut Pro I wanted to try a different device I actually used to have MacBook Air and it was a little bit small for my purposes but it was super effective super fast, I remember you can open it with one finger, and this device was, was just fantastic. Uh, though, it was very difficult for me to switch to, you know, little details that are very Apple-specific. So, I struggled with that, and by the way, I've got my cat, and now she's <laughs> is gonna steal the spotlight here. Okay, 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 okay. go. Uh, I love her, she is missing me when I'm at work, and She's such a lovely kid. Uh, she's not rescue, but somebody literally gave her to me because she needed a new home and I, I really love her. So, uh, sometimes she will show up in my videos, like today. Uh, hopefully she will get used to me more and she will be spending more time in, 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 in the frame. So, I ended up ordering a new MacBook Pro a year, year and a half ago, and it was lost, and that was a good thing because finally my Apple started making MacBooks with M1 chips, and I've been waiting for M1 Pro or M1 Max chips. So this is my definitive attempt to switch to Apple uh, or like Mac OS. The reason for that is there are several reasons. First of all, it's reliable. Fast. I have heard a lot of good things about this uh, laptops, about these new chips, and uh, obviously I carry my iPhone 12 Pro Max with me 
a lot of time and I truly enjoy the quality of this device and the videos and photos that I can take using that. So I was hoping that I can finally get a device that would get me all the characteristics I need, specifically all the ports, SD card port, uh, HDMI ports, USB-C, Thunderbolt, whatever, and it is a productivity booster kind of device. So, I'm trying, by the way, to make this video in two takes. The first one will be unboxing, the second one will be after I completely unboxed it and uh, set the device up, I will uh, talk about my first impression for a bit, but now I just wanted to unbox it and I know that Apple stuff is usually very nicely packaged. I drink a lot of coffee, as you can notice, so I've got this device. Before I open it, I would like to tell you what exactly I've got. I have a um, MacBook Pro 16-inch uh, with M1 Max processor, 64 gigs of uh, RAM and uh, 8 terabytes of hard drive space. I'll explain the details as I open it. The first one is... The first one is the size. I've been debating what exactly would be the perfect size, optimal size for me. And I've been thinking about portability uh, and uh, about performance. Obviously, 16-inch laptops would be much less portable, but at the same time, I realized I do not travel that much. So the worst case scenario is, uh, you know, you're sitting in a seat on a plane and you cannot open your laptop. Given this pandemic, I don't see many opportunities for me to do so. For the remainder of the scenarios, I, you got enough space for 16-inch laptop. On the other hand, uh, it's not that much heavier or bulkier to carry around and I can enjoy a very large screen or much larger and, uh, screen with uh, more pixels than that and because of that I can do uh, video editing much easier. So that is something about the size. So I've got the box, let me show it to you. Obviously Apple is amazing in terms of and stuff and let me open it and I'll tell you a couple of I'll say a couple of words about the color that is the ironically the most difficult choice for me was the color uh, I spoke to quite a few people whether I should get a silver one or uh, whatever the color is uh, space gray one and I ended up getting silver for several reasons it looks like it's more like classical, more you know, traditional Apple color. Uh, also, I think it looks cleaner and neater in general. Um, there is more contrast between the color of the laptop and the black central part with the keyboard. Uh, and also there was a funny thing uh, about performance. It looked like one of the, one of the YouTubers who were reviewing Apple products, they concluded that the silver version is 4% faster. I don't think it was a real statistical finding, he just ran several tests on two models and his silver model was a little bit faster. Finally, I think that the silver color is less marky and uh, more durable. So that's everything I wanted to say about the color except for actually the very first person I spoke to said, oh, definitely go ahead with silver. And he bought himself 16-inch MacBook Pro in, uh, in space gray. I cannot fathom that. Feels like I was set up. So I'm ready to open the box. I'll make a couple of turns. Apple knows how to pack stuff. Some vacuum there. Okay. It is here. Pulling. Huh, it's actually quite heavy. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. I'm used to... Sorry for the noise. I'm used to the uh, 13 or 14 inch uh, 2 in ones Oh my goodness, my cat is now starting to play with all the stuff. Kiss. I guess you'll have to live with this noise. Uh, okay, it's nice, it's fresh, it's cold. 
uh, I like the feel of this. I'm a little bit surprised with the, not with the feel, but with the edges. They're a little bit, I expected them to be sharper, more kind of minimalistic, and this rounded edges, edges, <laughs> this rounded edges remind me of certain ages. Uh, the ages of like Art Deco or like old vacuums when everything was smoothened, rounded. Uh, obviously, it's far from that. It's a brand new technology and I know that they are not rebranded, but they cha they're changing the style. But again, quite honestly, I expected it to be slightly sharper. But I can I can appreciate actually the fact that the all the edges are very smooth and rounded and because of that there is less chances of not cutting yourself but having some sort of uh, unpleasant sensations okay let us put it aside for a second and let's open it or should i go with the stuff let's go with the stuff first so we've got a couple of things here one of them is this adapter looks like oh it's magsafe adapter to usb-c Maybe there are two adapters, I don't care. I think it's MagSafe, uh, which is obviously one of the returning things that Apple was famous for, and it's amazing. The power block, actually a friend of mine who received his laptop just a couple of days earlier, earlier said that uh, his power block is huge. I don't know what he's talking about. It's regular size and not particularly heavy. No wishes from my side. I don't think we have anything else in this box. Even my cat is not interested <laughs> anymore. She's just lying here. Such a cute cat. So let me open the laptop and I'll show it to you. Ooh. Music. <sighs> Such a sweet moment. Okay, I'll show you that. I think that I'm very satisfied with the silver color and uh, yeah you can see the the screen it looks really really good obviously you can see the quality in everything on this laptop I don't want to touch oh, okay I did touch the keyboard just to just to um, get the sense of it but now I have to Pick the color. To use English as the main language, press the return key. I didn't expect that language, but let's use English as the main language. Uh, country Canada, my beloved new motherland. Continue accessibility, not now. Uh, select the Wi Fi. So I will work on this details obviously but before I set up everything I would like to obviously talk about the device I would like the size of the screen and the quality of the picture here I would like to say a couple of words about my decision specifically why did I choose M1 Max and why did I go with 64 gigs of RAM and why did I go with 8 terabytes of hard drive and why did I even decide to get it so First of all, as I said, I needed some new device that would be portable enough and professional enough to do multiple things. Writing my books, working with Microsoft Office, and there is a version of it. I do my uh, videos in PowerDirector, Cyberlink PowerDirector. Not sure if it was a good choice of uh, video software, but I, I have been making all my videos using that product. But at the same time, I feel that I should try something else and I'm eyeing Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is pre-installed on this one. Obviously, as a video editor, you, you do need SD card slot and this one has it, which is amazing. Actually, I was shocked with so many professional grade laptops or creator versions of them uh, that wouldn't have SD card slot. It's just plain stupid. Obviously, the number of ports, MagSafe, uh, three and a half millimeter hmm, microphone, uh, speakers, uh, jack, and this device feels feels nice. Uh, again, I cannot say much about the the edginess of edges, 
this one are quite sharp and by the way I just like took it and there is this slit here that is kind of sharp and almost like it feels like almost like a razor sharp nevertheless a couple of words about about the choice of uh, of uh, the processor the memory and the hard drive memory was chosen uh, I will talk about the memory last M1 just M1, M1 Pro or M1 Max. Obviously, I've been waiting for modifications of M1 chip just because for video editing you need slightly better uh, processor. M1 was the very first model, it totally made sense to go for M1 Pro or M1 Max. But I expected that M1 Max wouldn't have any limitations that Apple tends to impose on, uh, you know, kind of. Uh, sub supreme penultimate versions of their chips so I expect that the M1 Pro would likely have a little bit not necessarily throttling but some sort of um, software or hardware limitations in terms of how much memory it can realistically use um, things like that I'm not a pro in that I'm not a professional reviewer I just knew that likely something will be slightly off and for the price of couple of maybe several hundred dollars I would get a much better processor with uh, much longer lifespan potentially totally made sense to go with M1 Max and I'll talk about the pricing in general so obviously you can get the base model relatively well, I cannot say relatively cheap it's quite expensive laptop to begin with but let's talk about the hard drive so obviously you can easily add effectively several thousand dollars to the price of this laptop if you add more hard drive space and I must say that I went with a maximum 8 terabytes but the main reason for that is that quite frankly when you do video editing you need a lot of storage and uh, it is several thousand dollars but I've got Apple Care. I know that this device will be with me for the next several years it's totally worth going for it and I know that I will fill up, fill at least three four terabytes within within a year quite frankly and then I'll have to do my monkey business with like removing old files compressing moving them somewhere else and so on so instead it's future proof I should go with eight terabytes not a not no no brainer but I decided that you know if I have to go for it I should go for it and the last thing is RAM, and I said that I would like to talk about it last, just because, you know, I already picked, added several hundred dollars for M1, M1 Max processor. I added several thousand dollars for the, uh, the very large hard drive. And ultimately, the question is, do I really need 64 gigs? Likely not. But the difference is, again, several hundred dollars, and I'm just paying it on top of what I've already paid for this laptop, which is unpleasantly high amount of money, uh, so it was a no-brainer. Another another item that I would add just to max out all the uh, all the specs of this laptop and make it more future-proof and more usable uh, for more years. So, having said that, I I cannot say that I'm in awe but I do like this laptop already. It's large, it has beautiful screen. Uh, I will definitely play with the touchpad, with keyboard, and now it's time to take a break and I will install all the software I need. I'll connect this laptop to my ultra-wide huge monitor and see how it works. I will uh, maybe play with Final Cut Pro, but uh, most importantly, I'll just like, install the things that I use R, uh, the statistical package. Uh, I will try Microsoft Office, very banal things, but some that I use a lot. Uh, I will try uh, PowerPoint, sorry, PowerPoint. I will definitely try PowerPoint, but I will also try uh, PowerDirector. And uh, a couple of other things that are just like normal stuff for me, obviously browsing the web, watching my own videos, by the way, hit the like and subscribe button uh, and uh, I'll use it for the next couple of days and I'll make an update video or like the second part of this video to add this one and uh, just 
to share my first impressions. So far, so good. I like the device, and again, should I say it so many times? I don't know. Since I'm making this video, I think it makes sense. I don't like the the smooth edges. There is something off about it. Maybe just like not my expectations. And uh, obviously, by the way, people are talking about this little thing uh, here. Notch. I actually realized that as I was talking to you, I was looking at the screen, it has some dark, uh, dark element here, and I didn't even notice that the notch is there. So I don't think that will be an issue. So I'm happy that I finally have it. I'm taking a break, and I'll see you in a second with the second part of this video when I will be sharing my first impressions. Actually, I'm sorry, I realized that after several days of using this MacBook, I've got quite a few things to say about it, and I think it would make total sense to break down this video into two. One will be unboxing, which is this one, and I'm gonna wrap it up in a second, and the second one will be about the first impressions from this wonderful machine, and I'm gonna share my impressions with you in just a couple of days, maybe within 24 hours, because I'm filming it right now, as soon as I finish this uh, little episode. So, thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please ask them, leave comments. Uh, obviously, I will talk about diet, nutrition, exercise in my future videos, as well as on my website, drsamshealth.com. Check out my website, hit the like button, subscribe button, leave comments. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your patronage. And uh, I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will be posted very soon.